hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well so guys in this video we are going to see cognizant gen c interview experience and in this one we have covered like tried to cover all the questions which were asked to the candidate that is technical hr and managerial round questions if any so make sure that you watch the video till complete and if you are also going to appear for your gen c interview very soon because this is going to be super helpful for you and you will get a complete idea of what kind of questions get that are getting asked now before we look into the question i just want to tell you that see you, you will also get questions okay based on your resume skills that you have mentioned or the skills that you will mention during your introduction so don't think that okay in this uh, interview experience if the questions related to data science or web development is asked but you don't know those technologies then will you also get the same questions or not so mostly no you will not go get those questions because th those are uh, like skill set specific and if somewhere you have mentioned that you know that technology then only you will get those questions okay uh, and just in case if you get also these type of questions and if you have no idea of what to answer for those questions you can easily uh, like simply say that uh, no i don't have idea about this part okay so simply you can move on to the next uh, like question don't waste time in interviews basically okay so now before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet also there is a complete playlist on cognizant gen c preparation on my channel make sure to check that too i will be posting more interview preparation related videos in this playlist also guys i just want to tell you that i have seen like many of you messaged me that uh, the questions that i have posted in the aptitude video uh the same questions you guys have got uh, in the aptitude round but many of you were not able to attempt those because you haven't seen the video because you didn't got the notification that is why guys i always say that please subscribe to the channel so that whenever i post a video you will get notification then and there itself okay that is why it is very important because you know you might not know the questions that we are covering today in this interview experiences you will also get the same questions so it is very important for you to practice okay okay let's start with our first question which is tell me about yourself so usually uh in most of the interviews this will be your first question that is tell me about yourself or introduce yourself okay so uh introduce yourself basically in this one you just have to say about yourself okay like what are the things uh that you have like a skill set educational qualifications any experiences if you have done any internship any certifications you can talk about that okay apart from that don't try to overshare things okay so your introduction should be around 40 to 60 seconds in length not more than that because if you are speaking more than that then also it will waste time right and apart from that here i have taken one sample example for all of you so you can uh use this also as your answer or otherwise i would highly suggest that try to create your own introduction according to yourself because that will give a very good impact on the interviewer okay also like you know it does not matter that uh, whatever uh, like you have like you know for example if you are talking about your graduation marks so if you don't have a very good is marks or to show percentage to showcase don't speak about that okay it's fine but if you have you can speak about that so according to yourself you have to prepare beforehand and you know many students think that okay we will speak on the go uh, why should we prepare beforehand so i would highly recommend that at least uh, not the entire introduction then at least prepare the points that you have to speak in your introduction because uh, we know that you know when we are sitting in the interview we get nervous sometimes and we don't remember the points and just by speaking one or two statements we feel that okay yeah i'm done with my introduction in that case it does not give a nice impression right because we don't have stuff to speak that is why we always say that pre prepare your pointers that you have to speak at least okay okay let's see uh, what can you speak for this question i am and you can say your name a recent graduate in uh, like btech from so and so university during my studies i developed a strong interest in uh, technologies like web development data science whatever you can mention i have worked on projects related to data science etc again technology you can mention which helped me gain hands on experience in python and then you can mention tools okay something which is relevant to your project i'm eager to apply my knowledge and skills in professional setting and i'm excited about the opportunity to grow with the organization simple enough okay i have not taken that part of educational qualifications and uh, scores and all because i told you it should be according to your relevant skills and because many students do not have a good uh, skills uh, like marks to showcase if i would say if your uh, percentage is less than 70% or 65% no need to mention it you can simply mention that you have done what like uh, btech or in which stream that's it okay let's now move on to the next question 
So the next question is write a code to check whether a string is a palindrome. Okay, so this is a code based question. Now, you know, usually in the interview, uh, the interviewer will ask your preferred like language. Okay, because it depends on the interviewer to interviewer. They will ask you that what which is your favorite programming language or which is a preferred programming language and you can mention that and then you can code in the same language also that is fine. So the answer. Uh, so see, first of all, what is a palindrome? Palindrome is a string that is read same forward and backward for example if we have a string like m a d a m madam so if you read it from this side also it will uh, be same m a d a m and if you read from this side also it will be same m a d a m so in interviews now mostly this kind of small questions will be asked not very big or very long because you know uh, they also don't have time they have to also cover a long set of questions that they have ready with them okay so they they won't ask you very long questions okay so let's see the uh, what you can write for this one so basically we have created a function and then we are returning uh like this one we are returning the s which with the slice and we are taking this string so what we are doing we are checking if string is spelling drone we are passing the string okay in the spelling drone function and uh, we are like basically what was the condition here that our input string we are reversing and then checking if the reverse string is equals to the actual string or not if it is then we can say that uh, then we will print that the string is a palindrome if not then we will print that the string is not a palindrome this is the simple implementation of it let's now move on to the next question okay next question is based on sql queries so sql queries on joins with three tables okay so how can you answer that so see you can say that the example scenario is consider three tables employee departments and salaries employees has like employee id name and depth id details whereas department has department id and department name and salaries table has employee id and salary data now what is the like how can you perform joins with three tables okay so it should be like select employee name e dot name department d dot department name and s dot salary from employees e inner join departments d on e dot department id is equals to d dot department id inner join salaries s on e dot employee id equals to s dot employee id hope you have understood this query okay if you have any doubts you can ask me in the co comment section basically i have only taken this answers of this question so that you can prepare in a better way you don't have to search for the answers here and there uh, just with the questions also you will get the answers also okay let's see the next question the next question is types of joins in sql okay so we have different types of joins uh, like inner join which returns matching rows from both the tables left join return all the rows uh, from the table left table and matching rows from the right table and in the same way the other way around is right join which returns all the rows from the right table and matching rows from the left table full join returns all the rows where there is a match in either of the table and self join joins a table to itself and cross join is returns a cartesian product of both the tables moving on to the next question now what are the activation functions okay so see activation functions in neural networks determine the output of a node common types are sigmoid uh, uh, so sigmoid is used for binary classification values between 0 and 1 relu which is rectified linear unit common in deep learning removes negative values tan h maps values between minus 1 and 1 softmax used in multi class classification basically this kind of question will be asked to you based on your skill set if you have mentioned somewhere that you know i have experience with data shine machines learning machine learning okay so then you will get uh, this kind of question so because unlike this it is very unlikely that they will directly ask you this types of questions okay okay what is next next is your tcl which is transaction control language so what is tcl tcs in X sql means transactions we have different types of transaction like commit which saves the changes permanently rollback reverts the changes to the last commit and save point save point is creating a checkpoint in a transaction let's see one example of it every time you won't be asked the example but for your better preparation i have taken one one example okay so if you see begin transaction update employees set salary is equals to 5000 where employee id is equals to 1 save point before raise update employee set salary is equals to 7000 where employee id equals to 1 roll back to before raise and then commit so this what it will do this will roll back to the second update but keeps the first update okay hope you have got it now let's move on to the next one what is cnn okay so first of all the cnn full form is convolution uh, convolutional neural network okay convolutional neural network first uh, what can be the answer for this question a cnn is a deep learning model used for image processing it consists of convolutional layers detect patterns like edges in images pooling layers reduce dimensions to speed up computation fully connected layers mix final decision uh, classifications and softmax layer which is outputs the probabilities of different classes okay 
hope you are getting it guys if you are finding this video helpful please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any important updates going forward let's now move on to the next question which is how your project works okay explain back end work in detail so guys this is very important because you know you might get questions on your project also whatever the project that you have created okay if you have not created i would highly recommend you that uh, if you don't have any project then at least prepare some data that you can speak when this question arises okay uh, based on your project so you should have some content which you can uh, speak up okay because see it is very very rare or like almost impossible that they will ask you to showcase your project because you know at that time not every project is hosted right so they will not ask you to show your project but they will ask you questions on your project so you can prepare some stuff if you don't have the project ready okay uh, which you can speak or have a discussion but make sure whatever you are speaking you have thorough knowledge of that okay because they will do uh, like cross questioning uh, whatever you answer okay so let's see uh basically this answer depends on your project but in a but a general structure i have taken here so if someone has make uh made a like you know job portal project or a website so what can be their answer so they can mention for front end i have used react angulars uh, which sends request via api and then for back end i have used node.js or java or php whatever you can mention which is helpful for processing the request next is your database for database i have either used sql or no sql whichever you can mention and then that is used for storing the data and then for authentication i have used jwt for security purpose okay and then for hosting i have deployed it on aws azure or gcp don't say all three okay i hope you are like at least that much smart that you will know that i have taken all the options but you have to say only one hosting out of this and in the same way only one database out of this okay okay next is your exam then you have to give real life example also okay you should not look like because you see the interviews are very smart okay they are one step ahead of you they can track that you know you have you are speaking a ready-made material so it should not look like you are speaking a ready-made material so what for that what you will do you will back up your answer with a real life example which will give them this uh, like you know thing that yes you are actually speaking about your real project which you have created okay so like for example a job project portal uh, which uses where users registers or login via JWT authentication and then search search for the jobs backend queries database and filter results and apply for the jobs entry stored in the entry gets stored in the database and then email notification sends using a background service something like that you have to say but I'm again saying make sure whatever you speak you are thoroughly like you thoroughly understand that part okay because they can ask you for example if you are saying something like you know email notification sent using a background no service they can cross question what is the email notification you are like you know using uh, have you created the template of email by yourself or is that so uh, service giving you that uh, like you know ad added advantage or all these things that's why i'm saying whatever you say just make sure that you are aware of it okay let's now move on to the next question which is what do you know about cloud technology this is a very generic question okay you anyone can expect this this is not specific to your skill set or something so let's see how can you answer this question cloud technology provides on-demand computing services over the internet there are different types of clouds like public private and hybrid and the examples of public clouds are aws azure google cloud examples of private cloud are dedicated infrastructures and then in hybrid cloud we have combination of both that is public and private then services of cloud uh, we have IaaS which stands for infrastructure as a service uh, in that uh, what is the like services like virtual machines storage and in storage we have EC2 Azure VM okay then we have PaaS which is platform as a service which has development platforms like Heroku Firebase and then we have SaaS which is software as a service so which provides software over the internet like Google Drive okay and then Gmail let's move on now to the next question now you can also get situation based questions like how will you run a campaign for a specific product in a rural area okay so this this is this can be categorized as a managerial question okay as i told you right there can be different types of questions in your interview it can be tech it can be managerial okay and it can be hr so this comes under the category of managerial let's see how can you answer that so, so you can mention the strategy okay like market research identify the target of audience needs second is your localized advertising use regional uh, regional language ads so according to that particular locality you should use that regional language ads and then leverage digital and traditional media using mobile sms whatsapp promotions community radio ads door-to-door -door marketing and then partnerships collaborate with local influencers and retailers product demonstrations contact uh, conduct local fairs and free trials for your uh, for the demonstration of your product 
then your affordable pricing and easy access ensure distribution through local shops okay so this can be the answers of this question okay let's now move on to the next question are you re ready to relocate okay so the best answer for this question is going to be yes i'm open to relocating based on the project requirements i believe working in different locations helps me to grow both personally and professionally now this many of you might think that okay no i am not open to relocation why should i say yes i am open to relocating guys just understand this is just your interview your interview might not even you might not even see your interview in your professional life ever after okay these are some questions they are just asking you to understand your mental bandwidth okay that are you even ready to be flexible for the company if ever asked but no one is going to ask you to re relocate okay that totally depends on the uh, case once you join the company so don't think in that way and just answer no for this because that can reduce of reduce your chances of getting selected hope you understand this part next is uh do you have any questions for me so see this is usually the last uh question okay uh which is usually asked do you have any questions for me which, which means interviewer is asking you do you have any questions for me so you should always say yes and you should at least ask one basic question i would say and at max only two okay don't ask too much of questions also because that will also give a negative impact so let's see what you can ask uh in this question yes i'd like love to know more about the team i would be working with or the role that i will be having after i get if i get selected okay what does a typical day role uh, day in this role look like you can also ask about career growth learning opportunity or company culture in this company okay so basically this will give them the idea that you are actually interested in working for this company and to get this job okay so you have to make them feel like this yes you are the only one candidate who is very interested in this job role and you you are shining out from others okay that is your main motive okay so guys we have discussed a lot in this video and i hope this video has served some purpose and it will be very helpful for you in your upcoming interviews. If you have any more doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. I will try to answer 100% of the comments that I will receive on this video. And make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram. And it is super important that you subscribe to the channel because there is a lot of content which is already there. You might not even know, but there is already a lot of content and there is a lot more going to come. And more companies are hiring. I am regularly updating off-campus drives and every update that is possible for all of you. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you next time.